Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. I have started this channel to share my thoughts on data related tech. And today I am starting with SQL interview question series. Today we are going to discuss an interesting SQL problem where we have this friendship table and as you can see it has two columns user id and friend id and this is the data of one way relationship between user and friend and it means that alice has sent friend request and bob has accepted the friend request and now alice and bob are friends now we need to find those user and friends who has more than three mutual friends. Like if there are three mutual friends between Alice and Bob, then this row should be written in the result. Now, as this problem is little complex, what uh, approach do we follow here? That first we need to identify the mutual friends between user and this friend ID then we can proceed further now to visualize the solution we will take less sample of records so that we can check manually how we can write the query and find our required output now let's take these four sample records and we need to find common friend between Alice and Bob. As per data, Alice is friend with Bob and Mary, and Bob is friend with David. But as this is only one directional data, so it is showing Bob is friend of David, but it should also show Bob is friend of Mary. Now to find our required data what we can do we can copy the same data using union or union all with the opposite columns here we can put friend id and here we can put user id after union we will have this data along with the original one now we can proceed well further to identify the mutual friends and what should we do in order to find that if we need to find common friends between alice and bob then we need to identify all the friends of Alice and all the friends of Bob. Like the Alice friends are Bob itself, Mary, and no one. And Bob friends are Alice, Mary, and David. So if you see this is common and this is the common friend. So as discussed, we need to make the data as bidirectional so that all the friends will also be treated as user and we will have their friends data. So for that we can just do union on as this has no duplicate data but in the uh, first date the first set of data we will take as it is user id and friend id but in the second set of data we will take friend id as user id and user id as friend id so here we have taken friend id as 
user id and user id as friend id so it will now give us the twice number of records as it was earlier earlier it was 10 records now it is giving us 20 records so our next step is to consider this as user a and find all the friends of user a and consider this as user b and find all the friends of user b and then we can compare of friends of user a and friends of user b and find the common friends so to simplify the things let's take above query in a cte or users as just copy the above query it will be available as above ct now we can let me just execute the above ct to show the same data let's give us a meaningful alias all underscore u all users all underscore u dot user id as user a and all underscore u dot u friend id friend id as user b so this was our first step we have received all the users and friends at user a and b now to find friends of user a what we can simply do we can simply make the join with same cte because it has all the users and its friend and make this table as uh, user a and let's join it with all u dot user a equal to user a dot user id now we can easily get user a dot friend id as friend of user a let's execute the query and see the output there is some error okay this was alias we cannot just copy the alias here or u dot user id now we have got all the friends of user a similarly we can make one more join to get the all friends of user b so same ct will do the work use this alias as user b on all underscore u dot friend id because user b was friend id user b dot user id now we can get user b dot friend id as friend user b here there is now let's execute the query So we have received 
friends of user A and user B. You can see there are multiple rows because this is some kind of cross join that all user friends, all friends of user A and all friends of user B, there is no matching between them. So what we have that friend of user A must be matching with friend of user B and that would be the common friends. So that we can put in the where clause that of user A friend ID is equal to user B friend ID and let's see what is the output uh, why there is error user b dot okay now these are the common friends as it is clearly visible that for alice and bob mary and mary so mary is the common friend between alice and bob now as we have find out the common friends we can easily find out the count of common friends so what we can simply do we can take it in a another cte we can just simply uh, cte uh, common common friends as common friend as we'll keep this inside our CT and we'll just see the data again okay so the data is same now we can just group by c dot user a and c dot user b and we can see how many counts of the common friends are there okay so only Alice and Bob's have three and Bob's and Alice. This is the same record. And Charles Bob's have two and you can see the result. These are the count of common friends. And if you want only those record which have more than th equal to or more than three common friends, these are the records. Now it is showing two records. We can remove this one Bob Alice, but uh, that is another trick and that I can show you in our next uh, uh, SQL query. You can also Google how to remove. Uh, there is one query similar to this uh, where we have to uh, identify the distance between two places. So I'll discuss that query in next video. So till then, yeah, just practice these queries and uh, these are little complex. So once you write the query, you will get the proper solution in your mind. Thank you guys.